<laughs> well, not what I was searching for, but what a find. It's a hanging plant basket shaped like a flying hot air balloon. You can pop your favourite plant in here and this part on top tells you that the plant needs lots of sunlight. If you fancy making your very own plant basket, then follow me. For the sun, you'll need an inflated balloon like this one. And we'll use a plastic bottle to make the small basket. Ask an adult to help cut through the plastic. It should look like this when it's cut out. Now, let's get pasting. Cover the balloon with Art Attack paste made with equal parts glue and water. Then stick torn up newspaper with paste until it's completely covered. The sun should be very strong, so I recommend you do this about three or four times. Remember not to cover the balloon knot, as once the paper and glue mixture has dried, you can pull out the balloon through the hole. You'll need an adult to help with these next bits. Trim the edges of the hole evenly with a pair of scissors. Then cut out lots of cardboard triangles like this. They will be the shining rays of sunlight. Tape them around the balloon one by one. This sun is going to be very bright indeed. Once they are firmly stuck on, get some newspaper and cover the rays using the paste. And cover the outside of the basket with paste and newspaper as well. When you finish, leave the parts of your hanging plant basket to dry. For this next bit, you'll need your brushes and your paints in the brightest colours you can find. Think of colours that remind you of long, hot, sunny days. Ooh, and that reminds me, you might need your sunglasses. Before starting to paint, let's draw on the details in pencil. Draw a spiral shape beginning in the middle to make it look like the sun is moving. Once you've done one, do another one just like it on the other side. It looks really great when it's completed. On the basket, you can draw any shape or patterns you wish. Make it look fun. On the balloon, we're going to use red paint first. Just hold the balloon on the inside with one hand and use the other to paint between the lines. Hmm, now let's add orange to make it look even more like a fiery sun. Phew, can you feel the heat? For the rays, let's use this vibrant yellow. Now let's paint the basket. Yellow, and these bits here will be red. For the middle bit, let's use turquoise. Wow, it's looking scorching hot. Did you know that the sun is actually a star that lights up the Earth? It's daytime when we see it, but as the Earth spins, it gets darker and it's nighttime. But on the other side of the planet, it's daytime. Now we need to connect the two parts using four pieces of string, the same length. But first, let's work out where to link them up. Let's start with the balloon. Draw a dot under the triangles at one end, and then the other. Then draw two further dots a quarter of the way round on both sides. You now have four marks. Now, place the balloon on top of the basket and draw dots on the basket that match the ones on the balloon. With adult help, pierce all the dots with a pencil and connect your string to the balloon sun. Now do the same to the basket. After tying all the knots, trim the ends. Up, up and away! And doesn't it look great? Here's a tip for you. Before fastening the knots, make sure the threads are level on all sides. And look, we've made an extra hole up here to attach another piece of string with a small stick. Thread it through. And then you can hang it up. Thanks for watching. If you want to watch more Disney Junior shows, click here. To watch more Art Attacks, click here. Of course, you can subscribe by clicking this button down here. We'll see you soon and stay creative.